I don't know why exactly, but I always really enjoy visiting grave sites of people who live to be at least 100 years old or older. I guess because it's rare and it's out of the ordinary and kind of special to live to be at least 100 years old, especially if you're in good health. If you're not in good health, then that's a whole different story. The last time I was here at Home of Peace Cemetery was a few years ago, and after I returned home to Southern California, I discovered that actor Charles Lane, one of my favorite actors back in the day, was laid to rest right here, just two rows away from where I was filming another gravesite. That happens a lot, so fortunately I was definitely planning to come back to Colma, California. As you know, there are more than a dozen cemeteries here in this one town, and they're all right next to each other. So there are hundreds of interesting and historic gravesites to visit here, so I put him back on the top of my list of people to visit when I returned. So then I came back again last year and I got so busy, I wasn't able to visit his gravesite. There were a few others that I wanted to visit even more. But today, I'm back for a third time to Colma, and I'm glad that I was finally able to visit his gravesite and pay my respects. 102 years old. We should all be so lucky, right? His Find a Grave memorial page didn't include a GPS. It did give some coordinates and directions, so I, I knew that it was pretty close to where I had visited the last time, but I didn't know exactly where. So as I'm walking around, I noticed just very small down by the curbs, the little curbs they have around each section, they are marked A, B, C, D, E, F, and he's located in plot E, section 5, lot 13. So once I found that, I was walking around for a little while, and I, before I even noticed the numbers, and once I found the numbers, then it made it really easy to find his gravesite. But I still added a GPS to make it even easier, in case you decide to visit yourself. And I'm guessing there are a lot of I Love Lucy fans out there who might be interested in visiting his gravesite. He also appeared in a half a dozen episodes of the Beverly Hillbillies. Remember him on that fun show? He also appeared in movies like It's a Wonderful Life and It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, among many others. I mean, he had a seven-decade career, and he appeared in seven films with Lucille Ball before appearing on I Love Lucy. Now, I think he was only in a handful of I Love Lucy episodes, but I, I can't decide if I remember him most from the Beverly Hillbillies, I Love Lucy, or probably his role as Homer Bedlow on the 1960s comedy Petticoat Junction. He was a regular on that show, appearing in two dozen episodes. So probably Petticoat Junction is where most of us would recognize him the most. But he had so many memorable roles to choose from, you might remember him from something else. If you do, leave a comment and let us know how you remember actor Charles Lane. Even if you didn't know his name, you probably will recognize his face. If you were a baby boomer, that is, and watched a lot of TV and movies like I did. <laughs> In case you're wondering why he's buried up here in the San Francisco area instead of down in Hollywood, where most of his fellow actors are laid to rest, I'm guessing it's because he was born here in San Francisco. He was born on January 26th, 1905, and died July 9th, 2007, in Santa Monica, California. And as I mentioned earlier, he lived to be 102 years old. But when it comes to popular TV actors, he's not alone up here. Victor Sen Young, who played Hop Singh on the very popular Western TV show Bonanza, is also laid to rest here in the city of Colma. He's laid to rest just across the street at Greenlawn Cemetery, and I visited his gravesite in a separate video. Search on my channel for the link if you haven't already watched that gravesite visit. I'll put a link down in the description section as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and thank you to all of you who have taken the time to subscribe. And until our next trip to the cemetery together, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.